Hello Taurus, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading and this will be for May 3rd through the 15th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'll be using the Celtic Crow spread and I'm going to ask you what important situation events you're dealing with and of course we'll see how that resolves. May 3rd through the 15th for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Remember guys, these are pretty general. I'm getting good news there, celebration, so it may not resonate with all of you. Important situation, events, or what does Taurus need to know that they're dealing with, please, May 3rd through the 15th. One more. Nine of Pentacles, I keep getting Venus before with the Four of Wands, Venus now, one in Aries, one in Virgo. So let's see, let's see. The Page of Swords or Princess of uh, Swords here, crossed by the star. Five of Pentacles, that's you. Six of Pentacles, wow, Eight of Pentacles, okay. Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, King of Swords, Wow, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I've decided to do um, the readings because usually I go ahead and talk about the, the cards and then I clarify. So I'm going to start right away clarifying so we, you know, don't waste time. We're going to start with your situation, guys. The Page of Swords. To me, you're dealing with some type of news. You might be very inquisitive. It can be about documentations here or, you know... Mercury is going to be retrograde and it's going to go back in Taurus because it is in Gemini right now. And I'm saying this because I always think of the Page of Swords as, you know, communication that is um, not fully developed. It's just the initiation here is like a research or someone that is learning or even go send this me message from here to here. But there's nothing, you know, it's not that it's not important. It's just the beginning here that you're dealing. You might be very inquisitive. You might be thinking of reaching out or you might... Um, learning something here and you kind of are curious to see what's going on let's see what is this page of swords one more the two of wands okay so this news the queen of wands some of you may be dealing with a fire sign you don't have to to me this is if i'm going to go and make this decision makes this choice approach a situation set my intentions it's like there's some type of you know research or news so the overall situation to me is like you have learned something or you, you're receiving some news and you're deciding here if this is the best choice or you finally are going to go towards this person, towards this partner. Now the star, I feel like since this is what you have to face, the challenge when it comes to this situation is like you need that sense of hope because remember it's not something fully that you can understand here. It's giving you this with the star is like okay, you have to have hope. You have to think in a matter here that there's something greater out of this. There's something meaningful. You may be hoping to hear from someone that you have been waiting for this person to set your intentions or to decide, hey, am I the person here? Are you finally going to make the decision? What is the start? Aquarius energy. What is the start, please? One more. The magician, you see, that's why I said it's a belief to, to look at it as manifestation of a wish. Like that there's, again, there's something bigger here. This is what you have to face. It's beautiful. Again, this is not something that you feel like, oh my God, uh, I have to face the star and the magician. But it, it does play a big role here. And I'm saying this because you have the five of pentacles underneath. That means that there's something in your heart that you feel like it's going to be one-sided, Mercury in Taurus, or it's going to be a, a you know financial destitute here situation, or I'm going to be left out. So as you are kind of contemplating or receiving this news, and you know you feel like okay, this is what I've been hoping. I'm hoping that you know I have the right tools. Um, you know, even when it comes to our you know mind uh, with Mercury here, to kind of make a situation that I'm not going to be abandoned. I'm not going to be left out. Right now, again, does not necessarily is about love. It can be both about love and finances. But um, you're facing, again, the belief that there's something greater here when it comes to this choice and news. What is the Five of Pentacles, please? 
Tell me about the Five of Pentacles, please. Something, let me look at this. Okay, so it's regarding the Page of Swords. Again, I've, uh, like I mentioned, there's something here that you feel you might not get the news that you're desiring here with the Page of Swords. Let's get one more. One more. The moon came before, so I felt like there's something hidden, a hidden message. With the Knight of Cups, again, this is, it does have to do with love, actions towards love. So you are afraid that whatever this curiosity, whatever it is that you want to know, learn, or even, you know, communicate with this person, make the choice, you might, you might be afraid again that there was something here one-sided or is not going to be reciprocated because now we're looking at uh, this situation here, recent past or past, but they kind of go hand in hand with your Five of Pentacles. I want to know here that again, I'm going to make this right choice because in the past or there was some type of um, one-sided energy or you again felt like um, one gave more than the other. What is the Six of Pentacles here? One more. Wow, Scorpio. We have Taurus and Scorpio there. King of Cups and Four of Swords. I feel like spring and fall in this situation. To me, there was something that ended here because or it was not reciprocated or there was some type of exchange that kind of transformed everything for you completely again but now here you feel that things were not balanced what is this death card here in the past what is the death card one more yeah well both of those uh do represent change the death card and the will of fortune so here you are trying to balance a situation that needed here to, to to change or even you know to end but there was some type of faded outcome out of it so recently again you, you're trying to find the balance when it comes to a faded connection or a faded decision in the past going back now to your how you're going to see this possible remember you're thinking i need to get out of this situation uh, there's a fear in your heart here that you're going to be one-sided but again you know that in the past whatever this exchange or balance your recent past as I mentioned we're looking here till the 15th you know that something has to change here in order for things to be mutual or reciprocated and you have the eight of pentacles as you can see you think of everything in your practical approach everything needs you know to be worked everything needs to be improved stable common sense uh, type of energy very Taurus and um, Virgo here that we have mostly Taurus let's see why you think the eight of pentacles so you think like there's going to be progress improvement I need to keep even you know multitasking let's see what is the eight of pentacles here please okay so we have the high priestess and the Ten of Wands. To me, this improvement has to do with something here that you're trying to release a burden. Whatever this burden, whatever you passionately has, have been, um, you know, feeling heavy, a heavy heart, uh, exhausted. You feel like this release, especially subconsciously, will come with a lot of, I don't want to say a lot of work, but Eight of Pentacles does promise very much uh, detail oriented perfectionism we have to improve there's a skill here and this skill again that you trying or even if it is your person here that you want to balance you know that is not going to come easy there is that burden and you want to release this burden and you feel like there's more work to be done that's not the case though because again this is what you see possible and we'll talk about the ace of cups um, but that's in your mind that's your thought of what you feel like is the best situation keep improving keep uh, keeping busy and so on and then maybe there's going to be the release here that you want. Now, two aces, like the when we're looking at the immediate situation and the outcome, sometimes we may be getting some type of good news or something is coming towards us, but still it finishes in not a, such a pleasant situation. With your case, having these two aces is beautiful, Taurus. 
it is new beginnings and that's also what eclipses promise new beginnings no matter what okay so let's see why the ace of wands is the immediate situation here one more i'm sorry guys if i'm wow pre-shuffling too much the ten of cups and the page of wands so this i'm gonna look at there was a situation here with you and someone else. You may have been working together. That was avoided. This Ace of Wands is coming from some type of ending here. You had the ending in the recent past and you have the Ten of Swords, but it's bringing happiness. It's bringing good news. So there's a new start with something that or you thought it was over. With the Ten of Swords, we have the Ten of Cups as well. This is going, the Ace of Cups is leading to that, um, to the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. You feel like, okay, for me to have this relief after work, he's saying there's a new beginning here, a new start. And that means, again, there's something that has to do with timing or something that you thought, psychologically, you thought, oh, I will never get my happily ever after. This is not going to happen. That's not the case. The Page of Wands and Ten of Cups is promising you um, your happily ever after. It's just the start. It's just the new beginning. And this, the Nine of Wands here, you feel, or I should say, the way you are going to act or look at yourself or your behavior, your thoughts is the Ten of Wands, as I mentioned here, because I'm trying to connect all the, the, the dots together. This Nine of Wands is that you feel you I have to be very persistent. I cannot give up. Your guard is up. You don't want to be vulnerable. And again, I'm going to work. I'm not a quitter. You have gone through a lot. This is a wounded warrior energy. One more. Oh, wow. There's a soulmate here. Six of cups. You're very protective about um, a person here, but also when it comes to your memories when it comes to, um, you know, how you used to feel happy with this person. Again, are you guarded? Yes. Are you careful? Yes. But you're very passionate. Remember I said that you need to release something. So your attitude is that I need to stay strong. I need to stay guarded here. I cannot give up. But again, you're protecting um, these feelings and this soulmate here when it comes to you yourself. You feel like this is some someone here that I never gave up or I never quit it on. All right, so the six of wands. Now, this is what you don't see. You are surrounded by success, by recognition. This person also admires you. It can be a person. It can be a situation. It can be that the universe wants you to know that, hey, everything that is happening is because you're going to get the recognition and the rewards. But also, there's a lot uh, external here about a person admiring you and wanting to be seen in that light. What is the six of wands here, please? One more. Ooh, okay. We do have an admirer. The Queen of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo. It doesn't have to be. Again, only some of you. Uh, external to you, there is a very attractive personality. Again, they may be seeing you as this attractive queen and they want to get your attention. They want to pursue you. But also, this may be someone that there's a lot of admiration here and wanting to be seen as beautiful, attractive in this case. You have the King of Swords in your hopes and fears. Remember the Page of Swords we started regarding this news. The, the King of Swords is mature, knows here how to handle this news. So are you hoping that you're making the right decision or you're hoping for this person to come charging towards you? Let's see. What is the King of Swords, please? One more. The Knight of Pentacles, such a practical approach. This King of Cups keeps coming. You're hoping that, again, this is the best decision. Someone has uh, is consistent. It's coming here with consistency. You're hoping to make the right decision here. That the pathway is well known, clear. Financially here, you're not going to suffer. 
What is the King of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles? One more. Wow, we have the... Okay, it is about a person you're hoping. You're hoping that there's going to be some type of actions, again, consistent. But at the end, it comes back to love for you guys. It comes also back to expressing feelings, to, to trust that intuition, to learn here, to, to listen to your heart. But it's someone very, very decisive, and that's what you're hoping for. Again, some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius as well. I have Pisces, I have Earth, Fire, Water, I have it also. All right, so he's saying you're going to find yourself here as the outcome with a new opportunity towards love, a new chance. Remember, aces are about potentials. Where, you know, how we choose, what we do, it kind of is going to lead to us to the next step. But he's saying there's an offer of love. You're going to feel like outpouring love here towards a person or this person towards you. What is this Ace of Cups, please, as an outcome? One more. Oh my goodness, the Queen of Cups and the Tower. He's saying this Ace of Cups is coming out of a, a situation that you have been stuck especially when it comes to communication. You have been stuck on this for a long time at crossroads. You might also find yourself, you know, continually thinking about this chance, about this love, and not knowing what to do next. Because again, as I mentioned, the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords is someone that feels like, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. So all this is coming for you guys out of whatever you have been feeling again in the past that there was no balance here or if this is this new beginning starts here because remember we also have the ten of swords i said there's a new beginning that you feel like maybe again something happened here there was betrayal but now you know you can be happy or there's this i feel like in a way you can continue telling yourself that maybe you know something this is not going to happen yeah there's a spark there's the desire but it's too good to be true because remember you think the best for you is just to keep working and diligently here and putting yourself through a lot of multitasking so no matter what there's the offer there but this offer feels like stuck or something that you felt like you cannot do anything what is the ace of cups two of swords and eight of swords please one more yeah, the Three of Pentacles. There needs a lot of work and compromising here when it comes to this new love offer. It's just, again, it's just the beginning, but I feel like there's a lot, or there's other people, or you work with this person, or feels like, okay, that we have this emotion outpouring here. We have this love offer, but what do we do? What we need to compromise, what we need to build. I really hope this resonates with you guys. For those that are interested in the extended, I will do how your person feels towards you. You can find uh, the link in the description box below. Thank you. Bye-bye.